Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This show back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make depth of field or focus in Sony Vegas. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically when the person in front of the camera is all clear and crisp, but the background is a bit blurry. Uh, so we're going to do this both for videos and pictures, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do it for is a picture. So uh, we're going to go over here, and we're going to go to this file right over here. Now, uh, as you can see, this is the main person and this is the person in the background, but the problem is that they both look really clear and in a focus, uh, you would more be focusing on the person that's closer or back, you know, it's your choice, but usually it's the person closer. Uh, now, this scene looks fine, but it's going to look a lot more professional with some blurring. So we're going to right click and insert another video track uh, as soon as we have this one and we're going to make a duplicate of it. So right click and go to copy or control C uh, and then just paste it on top or control V. Now we have this, there are layers on top of layers. What we want to do is we want to crop out the person in front. So we're going to go to pan cropped, click this, uh, or right click and go to event pan cropped. Now we're going to go to mask, and we're going to mask this person out. Now since this is for a uh, image instead of a video, we can get really close with the masking. We can get like right up there and do it uh, you know, really close and sharp because I think that's part of the body. Uh, because uh, nothing is moving, everything's going to stay static. Uh, so just it doesn't have to be neat, but it, it has to be okay. Uh, so we're just gonna do all this stuff. Oh, that's too, way too close. You don't want to be touching the person. You want to leave a little bit of room because it looks better. Uh, so now we're just gonna make sure everything's good. We're gonna connect everything together so it masks it fully out. Now we're gonna go to feather tap. We're gonna go to both. And we're gonna up it up a little bit. Not too much. Not too little. Perfect. Uh, now what we need to do is we want to blur the background. So I'm at four. Now we're going to go to video effects and we're going to go to hmm, chroma blur. Nah, let's find something defocus maybe, but I noticed that was looking a bit weird. So we're going to go to Gaussian blur. Uh, now go to medium blur and put it on the second track in the bottom. So this blur is too sharp and as you can see, it looks really bad on the edges. So we're going to lower everything. We're going to go from 200 from 600. Let's try 200. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, so we're going to have to do it for both. So let's see this. Okay, so you can't have it like this. Oh, well, you can't have it like this, but I'm not liking the way it's looking. You can have this, it looks fine. Let's go to 100, see what that looks like. So this is Gaussian Blur in the video effects section, if you guys haven't known. Don't, don't know, ugh. All right, this looks pretty reasonable, I like this. So Gaussian Blur at 100, and we're gonna actually save that right now. So let's go back. Uh, oops, wrong, I clicked the wrong thing. Why am I going? Oh god. Oh god, my Sony. Oh no, hold on. It was the second track where I put the blur on. There you go. Sorry about that. We're going to save this to like perfect. Perfect focus. Let's save it that. Uh, so yeah. 100, 100 for both of them. Let's save it. So now we have this really nice background blur going on. And so now we're going to go try to do the same thing in a video. Uh, this this is going to look great for a thumbnail, by the way, because it puts its main focus on this person. Uh, so now we're going to delete both of these tracks, and we're going to get a video in here. Okay, now for doing it in a video. So I got this nice segment uh, from Team Epiphany. If you don't know who they are, they make machinimas. Uh, so we're going to go make the this this place blurry, and we're going to make this character really clear. Uh, it's the same steps. You just got to copy the bottom layer, and then go to top, and we're going to paste it in there. I'm doing it by mouse because uh, it's easier for me while I'm recording. Uh, now, we've got to study the movements of the character. So we've got to see what he's actually doing. So we have a rough idea of where we want to put keyframes. Uh, not keyframe, where we want to put our masks. Uh, so let's watch his character. As you can see, he stays stationary. He doesn't move that much. But he does move his gun a lot, which is very annoying. Uh, but the viewer is not really going to notice his whiteness, uh, any blurring effect on it. So we're going to go to the masking for our top layer. We could right-click and go to Pancraft. And go to mask. Now I'm gonna use the oval tool, but you can use uh, this anchor tool if you're an older Sony Vegas. We're just gonna circle this character. Simple. Uh, there you go. All right, good. Let's lower this point a little bit. I don't like how high that is. Make it a little weird oval circle. Just adjust it until you have most of the character in there and and as little as possible of the outside. So let's study this. See where the gun moves. See if you need to adjust anything. Okay, the tip of the gun goes a little bit outside. All right, so we got to make it a little bit bigger in this corner. Make it a little more ovally. Maybe, oh no, we need to get the gun in there too. Like so. 
So now let's see how this works out. Oh no, this is where you gotta be really careful. You're making keyframes, and you don't wanna do that. You wanna go all the way back and do it over again, because then this is what happens. It slowly expands, uh, which is very annoying for the viewer. Uh, so we're gonna drag this keyframe all the way back to where it was. So now we're back to this. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I hate that. Uh, the keyframes are pretty buggy in Sony Vegas. Uh, annoying. All right. So this is this will do. Uh, we're gonna go to feather type, and we're gonna go to both, and we're gonna add some feathers to this. So make it nice, soft edges. We don't want to make it too strong. The viewer uh, gets annoyed by it. So I'm gonna go with 21. It's pretty high, but it will do. Uh, now, I, if you if you guys remember in the beginning, I made this perfect focus one. And this is Gaussian blur at 100, 100. So we just put it on the bottom layer, and we can see over here. And it has added this nice blurring effect. So now if we watch this, we can see this person talking. He's like, yo, I don't know what he's saying. I didn't watch the whole video. But as you can see, it's basically focusing. Now, like I said, it's not perfect uh, because in a real depth of field, everything would be on the skin and r real neat and stuff. But we're doing this post-editing. It's a bit tougher uh, in Sony Vegas. And this is probably the simplest way. Uh, if you guys are noticing, the gun is doing that blurry thing. But uh, like I said, it's not perfect. But uh, I'm assuming the main focus is going to be this person. Uh, so, this does look a lot better than it used to. So, if we watch both of these clips, uh, oh, let me just copy this, put our normal layer in the bottom, so we can see a difference. Copy, insert video track, let's put this in the bottom. You don't have to do this part, I'm just doing it as an example purpose. Okay, go to video event effects, disable this. So, we see the difference. No depth of field, depth of field. No depth of field, depth of field. No depth of field, depth of field. Uh, so, it's not that big of a difference, but it makes it look a little bit better. Uh, so, uh, if you, do you guys notice this? It's very annoying. I'm going to fix it right now. Uh, okay. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so now, that was just a little thing that was bugging me in the corner. But now, our focus is good. So as you can see, like I said before, it's not that big, but it's, it makes it look nice. It's not bad. Uh, so we can see the difference there. No depth of field. Depth of field. No depth of field. A depth of field. It makes stuff look better. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave a like, I guess. Uh, but pretty much, that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching all the way through, and I'll see you guys next time.